No way y'all actually use these like just in everyday life. Is this hat too much? Is it doing too much? I don't care. I love this hat. I'm wearing it. Dang it. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we are taking a British vocabulary quiz. And y'all know, especially with me, uh, English, it's, it's tough. It's hard. Okay. I can't do it. <laughs> suck at it. Sometimes the words just don't be wording, you know? Like, I can't regularly leap. Give me a second. Re I can't regularly, I can't regularly say words the correct way. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to put some of my vocab knowledge to the test today. But as we all know, American English, British English, it's supposed to be the same thing, I guess, but it's just completely different. I like to say we took the English language and like beat it with a sledgehammer and then drug it through the dirt. And now that's what we speak. <laughs> so we're about to get into it. But before we do, I have to say thank you guys so much for 150,000 subscribers. Woo! Go JT! You're awesome! Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, it, like truly, I appreciate you guys. I love every single one of you guys. That's so amazing. I can, I'll never be able to express how thankful I am for every single one of y'all. And 150K is freaking awesome. So thank you guys so much. On the road to 200K now, let's go. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Do I feel a little Walter White coming out? Uh oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like I'm about to commit a crime or something. But we're about to get into it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you want to see more quiz videos. Go check out all my other channels. Link down in the description. But other than that, let's get into it. All right. So here we go. The Great British Vocabulary Quiz. Make sure you know the difference between a loo and a lift. Uh, I know the loo's where you were a, a bathroom. A lift. A lift. That's an elevator, right? I mean. You know, if you're drunk enough, you can you can use the loo and the lift, okay? <laughs> so there's a question timer. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that off just because y'all know it might take me a second. So here we go, the Great British Vocab Quiz. All right, so 17 questions named after Sir Robert Peel, huh? Who? What are the British police called? Bobbies, Birdies, Robbies, and Peelheads? Peelheads, really? <laughs> I feel like if you call a cop a pillhead, you're probably going to get arrested. But this is Bobby's. Do y'all even call them Bobby's? I feel like I've seen people comment before on past videos. They're like, nobody's ever called the police in the UK Bobby's. So y'all let me know. Do y'all even actually call them Bobby's? There we go. Sir Robert Peel founded Britain's Metro Metropolitan Police Force in 1829. Cheese and rice. All right, next up. Which of these devices is called a lift in England? Elevator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Too easy. That makes sense, though. Lift. What does it do? It lifts you up. <laughs> Americans say elevators. The British say lifts. Perhaps they are just raised differently. I like this website. I like this. Whoever created this, I'm a fan of you. Here we go. While Americans wait in a line, Brits tend to form which of these? A faff, a cue, a prat, a pitch, a cue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wish America would adopt, like, the British mindset of forming a cue because a line here in America is, it's an abomination, to, to be honest. It's usually just a big old group of people. <laughs> you can't tell who's next, who's in line. The British can take all the credit for this one. Cue is taken directly from the French for tail. Huh. All right. Often found in British wallets. Quid is slang for what? Driver's license, money, pictures, contraceptives what the heck is a contraceptive weird i'm pretty sure yeah y'all call money quid right is that just sl that's slang for money i thought that was a type of money like i thought y'all had like pounds and then quid was something else but i guess it might just be slang so yeah money sit sin synonymous synonymous what what is that word with pound sterling, quid is used much the same way Americans use the word buck. Oh. So yeah, it is just slang for money. Okay, that makes sense. Number five, a Brit who's headed to the loo is going where? That's the bathroom. Come on now. The bathroom. Oh, I mean, technically, technically, you could be going to the garden or the garage. Hey, an, an O2 in one, water some plants and release yourself. Hey, hey. Save water, you know. <laughs> Question number six. Which of these games is a U.S. version of Britain's Knots and Crosses? Knots and Crosses. Checkers, Tic-Tac-Toe, Simon Says, Red Light, Green Light. Huh? Knots and Crosses. Probably not Checkers. The, no, uh, why would it be Simon Says? I feel like Simon Says is kind of universal, you know? I feel like it has to be Tic-Tac-Toe because, like, Crosses could be the X. I don't know what, I guess knots would be the circle or the O, so tic-tac-toe, dude. 
Dude, let's go. The crosses are the X's and knots meant nothing, hence O's. That makes sense. Got it. So we we literally took the same game and just created an entire new name for that game. Tic-Tac-Toe. <laughs> and Tic-Tac-Toe doesn't even make any sense. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. You make the, the thing, and then you use X's and O's. Where did Tic Tac come from? Like, the toe, I kind of get, because it kind of sounds like an O. But what's the Tic Tac? Number seven, taken from a popular brand name, when a Brit is ho hoovering? What are they doing? Vacuuming, baking, making coffee, dyeing their hair, vacuuming. The Hoover vacuum. I do know this one. I do know this one. Yep. Hoover vacuums became so popular in Great Britain that the brand name became syn synonymous? Is that synonyms? Is that how you spell synonyms? Hang on. How am I gonna look it up or I don't know how to spell it? No, it's not. Synonymous, what does that even mean? An adjective having the same or nearly the same meaning as another word, so a, syn a synonym. Yeah, that's just another way to say synonym, synonym, right? I don't know, I don't know. English is, it's confusing. All right, here we go. Question number eight, which adjective describes someone who is knackered? Uh-oh. Uh oh, excited, lonely, tall, or tired. Ooh, knackered. I've literally never, like, I've heard that word before, but I've never heard somebody use it. Knackered. I feel like it's not gonna be tall, probably not lonely, but excited and tired. Like, if I was to say, ooh, I'm, I'm knackered, would that sound like I'm excited or tired? Knackered. I'm, I'm leaning towards tired, like, man, I, I'm knackered. That was a tough day, you know? I'm wore out. We're going tired. Let's go. Let's go. Knacker is thought to be related to an older word, knacker. A person who bought worn out animals no longer capable of doing farm work. Oh, that's kind of sad. Question number nine. During which of these events would a British person put on their wellies? Huh? Going to sleep, wedding, thunderstorm, or surgery? Wellies? I've never heard that one. Hold on. Wellies. Going to sleep, wedding, surgery, thunderstorm, wellies. I don't even I don't even have the slightest clue what that could mean. Like honestly, I don't know. Wellies. What the heck? Dude, I've never heard this word before. Maybe wellies is like, I don't know, like a raincoat or something, or like rain boots. I'm going thunderstorm. I feel like that that would fit. Dude, I am so good at just guessing. I am the master guesser, I promise you. Rubber rain boots, I called it, bro. Called Wellies, which is short for Wellington. So, ooh. Named for the British general that defeated Napoleon and popularized the tall, laceless boots. Huh. Question number 10. If you see a British person pushing a pram, pram? What are they most likely transporting? A baby, groceries, trash, drugs? Do I need to call the Bobbies? Huh? I'll call the Bobbies. I'm a snitch. I'll, I'll do it. Because don't y'all, y'all call, uh, like shopping carts, trolleys, right? So it's not gonna be groceries. A pram. Pram. Would that be a trash can? Or like a baby stroller? Dude, this is actually tough. I've never heard of some of these words. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go trash. I feel like that'd be a word for like a trash can or something. Rip. Rip. That's the first one we've gotten wrong. It was a baby. Dang it. Something Americans know as a stroller. Oh, so we call it stroller, y'all call it a pram. Okay. It's shortening for perambulator, huh? Which means one that travels by foot. The lore of these words is ridiculous. <laughs> a pram, okay, got it, I, I, I won't forget that. A British person might tell you hard cheese after which of the following? You lose a game, you leave on vacation, you hold a door open for them, you win the lottery. Hard cheese. See, now I say cheese and rice, but I ain't never heard of no hard cheese. Ugh, like, I don't even want to think of hard cheese. <laughs> you know, like, we'll say, we'd say, like, tough luck after you, like, lose a game or something. So that's why I'm going, I think that's why I'm going to go with lose a game. Let's go. Tuck. Bro, what? I might be a thesaurus. Like, I, that might be my true calling. Forget YouTube, forget all this. I might be a thesaurus. Hard cheese means tough luck. How did I know that? I have literally on everything never heard anybody say hard cheese in my life. Wow, I'm such a good guesser. <laughs> I mean, here we go. Question number 12. If an English person is chuffed, how would an American describe them? Chuffed. Angry, hurt, delighted, or winded. To me, chuff sounds like you need to see a doctor, you know? Huffed. Okay, now this one's actually hard. I've heard this word, 
but I don't know the meaning of it. Because it could low-key go for like any of these. Not really winded, or maybe, yeah, low-key it could go for all four of these. You no, know, you're angry, so you're chuffed. Or you got hurt, so you're chuffed. You're delighted, so you're chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I doing right now? I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's going to be angry. Like, dude, he's chuffed about that. Like, he's not happy, you know? We're, we'll go angry. Delighted. So, literally the opposite of what I was thinking. The term chuffed originally meant puffed up with fat. Wait. It means puffed up with fat? So, you're delighted? Dude, I think Americans should start using this. Like... <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, next up. If a Brit asks to borrow your your bureau, borrow, what should you give them? Car, phone, lawnmower, or pen? Borrow? I'll be honest, I I don't think I was uh, prepared enough for this quiz because this is actually hard. Okay, borrow. I, 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 pen? Oh my, dude. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I am the greatest guesser of all time. Like, that was a complete and utter guess. I just clicked one. I just clicked one. I might need to go, like, buy a lottery ticket or something and just guess what I think it could be. Like, I might actually go do that. Las Laszlo Byro was the inventor of the ballpoint pen. I, I don't know. That was a lucky guess. You used to describe some soccer teams or in England football teams. What does the word shambolic mean? Shambolic. Disorganized on a winning streak, well-rested, highly paid. Shambolic. Shambolic. I feel like that's a disorganized word. Like, like dude, th this team is shambolic right now. They can't get nothing together. They're so disorganized. It's just a big old mess of shambolicness. <laughs> disorganized. Let's go for it. There we go. Shambolic is thought to be derived from the word shambles. That makes sense. You're in shambles, disorganized guy. Which of these is a British... Can y'all hear my laptop? It might blow up. Like, what is going on? It sounds like a fighter jet right now. What? Are you okay? Which of these is a British term for someone who does menial work? Buddy, trainer, dog's body? Jiggery, pokery. I pray. And I hope that it the answer is jiggery pokery i don't know what that is but that might be my new favorite word of all time jiggery pokery <laughs> someone who does menial work buddy trainer dog's body buddy's a sandwich right i'm pretty sure a buddy's a sandwich trainer isn't that another word for shoes dog's body i've never heard in my life i'm i'm going with jiggery pokery i, I hope it's right dang it Dang it. Dog's body. Dog's body was a nautical term used to describe junior officers on naval ships. Huh. I have to do it. What is, what's jiggery poker? Underhanded manipulation or dealings. Oh, so trickery. That is an amazing word. It, that, even though you're tricking people, <laughs> it's a good word. Which of these is a synonym for gormless? Poor, dim-witted, healthy, or bald? Gormless gormless bro no way y'all actually use these like just in everyday life like you, people are going around just saying gormless i don't know i i, I really bald go sure dim-witted okay gorm is an alteration of gom meaning attention or understanding so dim-witted gormless to be honest i don't think i could have ever got that one right i i literally had no idea what that could have been but all right 17 to 17 last question which of these people might be described as a boffin a member of the House of Lords, a research scientist, a juvenile criminal, a bird watcher. That is the most wide variety of possible people I've ever seen in my life. A member of the House of Lords, a scientist, a juvenile criminal, and a bird watcher. <laughs> a boffin. Oh, so up here there's a difficulty thing? So it's been getting harder as we go. That makes sense because it has gotten harder. Okay. Dude, I... A scientist. Where is the nearest gas station? I'm going to buy a lottery ticket right now. I'm doing it. No way I just got that right. That was a complete guess. Often began to be used around World War II, and one of its earliest uses was to describe scientists and engineers working on radar technology. Huh. Fancy. But alright guys, that is going to do it for me taking a British 
English vocabulary test. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually pretty hard. I got I got lucky on a lot of those. In reality, I probably should have gotten like a 10 out of 17. But hey, I knew some of them, okay? I knew some of them. <laughs> but if y'all wanna see me do more quiz videos like this, let me know by hitting that like button. Y'all stay tuned, we got a bunch of videos coming. We got P.O. Box openings, taste testing, a lot of really, really fun videos that we cannot wait to share with you guys. So y'all stay tuned for that. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Drop a like for hitting 150,000 subs. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Make sure y'all got today, spread love, spread kindness. Do something nice to my day. I love you guys so much. I really do. Shit, you're excellent. I'm out. Peace.